Hey, what's up out there in Freedom Family Studios? What's happening? This is Jeremy here. I'm just going live on my uh, weekly Sunday morning blog. Just trying to make a habit of it. Um, it's been a busy week, man. What a crazy one. Um, on a personal level, I want to say give a shout out to my friend James, who I've known for over 35 years. He is my dearest friend. And he's uh, fighting a pretty harsh health battle. As all of us music guys get older, uh, sometimes our lives in this industry tend to catch up with us. And uh, when me and James were younger, we were ride or, ride or die partying just nonstop. Me and this dude went to Boulder, Colorado and took some acid and climbed Boulder Falls and almost got arrested. We went to the Rainbow Family Gathering together, I think twice. Um, man, he's just been my best friend since seventh grade. So I just wanted to say, keep fighting, James. I know you got this. And I will always have your back. Anyway, that's just a little personal note. Shout out to my dad, who is beating the shit out of cancer right now, making it look stupid. You got this, Pops. You've, you've beat so much more than this. This is small potatoes, man. But, um... On a business front, things are just banging. I got Abandoned Alien. Uh, their first single came out with us called Another Scar. It's available on all uh, streaming platforms, all that stuff. It, everywhere they sell music these days. Not Hastings or, you know, Blockbuster or Tower Records. but <laughs> And then uh, my band that I play drums and backing vocals and write songs for, Grudge Finger, also has a song out that just came out called Forward Motion. It's also on all streaming sites, and I'm working on the lyric video as we speak. That'll be out next week. Abandoned Alien already has another lyric video out. Go check out my YouTube page and, uh, you know, give that a like and a sub. This broadcast will be up on my YouTube page later today. Um, Grudge Fingers also, almost, we're about halfway through recording the next single, Grant, my guitar player, who is fucking awesome at what he does, he records his own guitar tracks at home, studio quality recordings, and then just sends them to me, and I do my thing. And he just sent me a lead track last night. I haven't got a chance to check it out. I've just been swamped with business. It's not a bad thing, you know, just so many hours in a day. I'm going to open that up and see what we got brewing. Yesterday... It was a big day for Freedom Family. I've been kind of after this band that I wanted to sign because I love their music. And uh, the deal I offer isn't for everyone. Um, it's a, it's my version of a 360 deal to where I front you the studio time. After we recoup the studio time, after that, all streaming sales are split 80-20. 20% to Freedom Family, 80% to the artist, and that's for streaming only. That's and it's only for the songs we produce together. It's kind of a, some people have, you know, I've had a band pass. Uh, trust is a weird thing. But anyway, uh, all the guys in Arsonist OKC signed last night, were, um, did all the legal bullshit. And here, I can kind of show you what I'm talking about. Let's go into my, my Reaper page. Here we are. You go to this Artist 360 deal on the Freedom Family Studios page. It sums it up. It says, you know, basically the recording and distribution has everything, all everything I'm offering. It literally has all of the insight, all of the legal stuff right here. We believe in transparent partnerships. We so will recover recording costs from your earnings on streaming, deducting $350 per song. Expenses are re fully recouped. Once the costs are recovered, you'll receive an impressive 80% shell of all streaming sales and revenue, while we retain 20% working hand-in-hand -hand to achieve greatness. And this is basically streaming only. If anyone knows anything about the money involved in streaming, we're talking about we're going to split some pennies. <laughs> I hate to say it, but th that side of the music business is dead. I'm only doing this to help these bands get their stuff out there, but I have to at least make something. And this Fugazi of 20% is my cut. So 
that's where we're at. So I sign them. They agreed to all these terms, which means they get free studio time. They get free promo. They get free art. They get to come to our streaming studio and more and play a set and stream it to their fans for free. They get everything Freedom Family has to offer with no money up front. And all we get is 20% of the streaming revenue, which in most cases is a Fugazi. <laughs> it's not real, but still got to keep things legal like. So they signed the deal. They are now a member of our artist page. You can go to this new click down right here where it says Arsonist OKC. You can see we have them a tab set up. Um, you can find them on Facebook. We will have links to all the music after we get it done recording and get it released. You can find some of their songs on uh, Spotify right now, but it's not the ones I worked on, so they won't be on this website. Um, you can check out this uh, Oscar wording right here. The This band is igniting the metal scene with explosive fusion. Prepare to be immersed in the fiery world of arsonist OKC a post-hardcore metal powerhouse that seamlessly blends various metal styles into a volatile and captivating musical experience. With a visionary drummer, soul-shaking lyrics, and earth-shaking guitars and bass, they bring unique and intense energy to the stage that's sure to leave you spellbound. Click the link. Go like their Facebook page. We need to get them up over a 1,000 followers so we can get them into that next bracket for the algorithm so we can get them into your feed. Everyone. Go like their page. And I'm also working on getting Abandoned Aliens page to that same benchmark of a 1,000 followers so I can push them into a better algorithm in social media marketing. So go find those two Facebook pages. Help a brother out. Help them out. They're great dudes. All of this stuff that I do at Freedom Family is just basically forming a little tribe of people that help each other. We look out for each other. We share each other's stuff. If any money is to be made, we split it in a very fair way that's very open, very legal. This video right here is a legally binding video. There it is. So I, I like to be very transparent about everything I do with Freedom Family Studios. That way things don't get twisted. So we're tracking six songs for them. We're tracking... I think about 12 songs for Abandoned Alien and probably about 12 to 15 for Grudgefinger. Plus, as a session drummer, I am doing drums for Solinger and Aaron Michaels, which Aaron Michaels is my most uh, accomplished client at the moment. He has over 10,000 streams on Spotify. Uh, I don't know how many, but a lot. Uh, he... he Really, his music is just now hitting Christian uh, radio. It's really getting played. Go find Aaron Michaels on Facebook, on Spotify, on YouTube, and like all his pages. We have a gig that I, I'm going to, um, as a drummer, he hired me as a hired gun to play drums at the block party in uh, Norman. Here, let me find some info. Oh, uh, I can't while I'm streaming. Anyway, uh, the... K-O-U-J Block Barty at Cavalry in Norman. I'll get more info on this. I am terrible with info. That's, I'm not much of a businessman. <laughs> like I was telling the band Arsonist yesterday, if I were a businessman, I probably wouldn't be doing this because it's not very business-like. The possibility of me recouping any money at all is pretty much the same odds as winning the lottery. But if it does happen, I'd like to get my share too. But it's a big if, and I really don't care. I'm basically donating time to the bands that I want to work with, that I believe in their music, their music, I like their music, it like moves me and whatnot, and I don't mind hearing it over and over and over again during tracking sessions, making, mixing sessions, and more importantly, the editing. All of these drummers that I'm working with now are a dream. And when recording a band, if the drums are a nightmare, then you can almost bet that the rest of the session is also going to be a nightmare. So I've learned after past events to pass on those projects. Just pass. It's not an insult. My time, I'm, I'm 48 years old, y'all. I ain't getting no younger. Time is 
gold me. And yesterday was good time. Uh, let's let's check out some of this video we got for the arsonist. Here we are back on their tab on the Freedom Family Studios page. If you go down, you can check out this video right here. Back to the video. They're phenomenal. This screen blew my mind yesterday. And their vocalist, man, he is. I mean, a lot of those vocalists that sing the low guttural stuff, they struggle. Shit. This, <laughs> this dude's young and has such a fucking powerful voice. Go find all their stuff. We're going to do some great things together. Even if it's just six songs, uh, I'm proud to be working on these six songs with these four guys. They are fucking phenomenal. Uh, I mean that as a, from a musician point and a producer's standpoint. So, like I said, go check them out. You can find their tab on our artist tab right here. Go to our artist at freedomfamilystudios.com. You can find the Grudge Finger tab. Basically, all the bands that I'm working with that I can share with you right now are on that tab. There, there's going to be more added in the next six months for sure. Um, I am working with about six to seven artists i'm trying to make time to finally record one of my musical kind of heroes which is christoph murdoch christoph the eight foot tall being from another planet i've offered him our 360 deal i'm dying to record him but that dude is just about busier than i am which is <laughs> that's why we have to work together we're both fucking crazy so, uh, Christoph, just got to get with me, man. We, we got to work out the time thing. Is you're always somewhere doing something. I'm trying to work it in there. The offer still stands. You are in my lineup, bro. And uh, nothing but respect for everything you've done over the last... I've known you for over 20 years. We've both been doing our respective art for that long at least. Nothing but respect. Go find the art and music of Christoph Murdoch. Support him and every all the people at Incom. I want to say thank you for letting these bands play there. Y'all don't have to do this. And it is so cool that you guys let bands come to your little spot there, Norman, and basically showcase their songs. That place is about the music and the songs only. There's no booze. There's no scene bullshit. There's not a crazy covered door. Uh, you're not going to get robbed. Your car's not going to get broke into. As as music venues go, I mean, it, it's not flashy and it's not like got the cool music venue vibe that a lot of the waste heads are looking for. But if you want to hear a band in its rawest, most pure form, go check out all the bands at Incom and check out Zombie Riot, MB10, Zombie Riot or Rot. I can't look at Facebook and stream at the same time. But uh, by next week, I'll get some of these links more lined up. Y'all give me a break. <laughs> I'm working with like six bands. I work a full-time job. I'm a dad. And these are all excuses why I can't work more. Um, if this were the 90s, I'd just do a bunch of cocaine and get it all done. But <laughs> Jokes. These are the jokes. Yeah. Pretty straight edge now. So <clears throat> thankfully. But uh, I just wanted to jump on here and say everything we got going. Uh, I'm fixing to finish packing up. As you can see, I got everything broke down. We're doing basically kind of a full equipment dress rehearsal at our streaming studio called club grudge in Moore, Oklahoma. Go find that on Facebook. Shout out to my business partner, Dan, that dude works his brains out for his family. And he is just as driven on this whole vision as I am. In fact, I wouldn't be doing any of this without him and his support. That dude brought me out of a funk when I was literally done with music and pretty much saved me in many ways. So Shout out to my brother, Dan. Um, I, uh, we've only been friends for about a year, but I feel like I've known you my whole life. He is the youngest Waller brother. He joined right in there with me and my brother, Jason. And now that we got Grant on board, Grudgefinger is a powerhouse. We are four strong writers that are really, we only care about making good music and getting it on CD and getting it 
into your lives. That's what we want. We will eventually play live, but first, we're focusing on our music. And that's what I want all the bands. Dan from Abandoned Alien has like 200 songs. And like when I signed him to Freedom Family, I was like, you got any more songs? He sent me like 200. <laughs> I was like, good God, man. So I'm going to be very, very busy. I've mapped out all my days for the next literally 60 days. And I have two days where there's nothing scheduled in there. And I, I literally forced myself to schedule the word nothing in my planner. Going to take those two days. I'm not even going to say what two days they are. I'm just going to take those two days and like literally stare at the walls, drool a little bit, watch some Scooby-Doo. Um, I'll be playing the 23rd at the KOUJ Black Party in Norman. You can find that on Facebook. Aaron Michaels will be promoting. If you go to his page, like I've asked, and you, or you definitely should find all his pages and like them. He'll be promoing this all the time. A uh, so little side note, this will be my first time playing drums in front of a live crowd in over 20 years. So make sure y'all come check it out. Any of my friends and family want to come check it out, it is in a very positive church setting. If you're into that thing, they're offering free food, some free baptism, free spirituality, and, and more importantly, free will. Um, come and have a good time. Watch the great bands. Another great band that's playing that night, I almost forgot, is a band... Um, my friend Jamie is in a band called 13 Minutes. Go like them, support them. They are awesome. And I know I know, I drop F-bombs a lot. I'm really trying to stop. All, all my Christian friends know where my heart is, but they also know where my mouth is. Uh, I'm really working on the cousin thing, um, working with these uh, bigger artists and in a more uh, non-metal atmosphere, I've learned that I really do curse like a sailor. So I'm effing trying to stop. <laughs> anyway, that's my Freedom Family vlog. Um, check out The Arsonist. Welcome to Freedom Family Studios. Be expecting videos, promos, art, uh, a Facebook flood of information. We're going to be pimping them like pimping ain't been pimping done before, just like we've done with Grudge Finger and Abandoned Alien. And uh, go find all of these bands and support them because they're really doing it for the right reasons. These bands are out there for the music and the music only. They don't care about being famous. They don't act like rock stars. They don't really care much about, like like me, I'm a minimal, minimalist when it comes to recording. How the music gets made doesn't even matter. What matters is what comes out of those two speakers. That's all that matters. How we got it to that point, it's no one's business. Some people can't accept that and they want to use the best stamps and the best this and the $3,000 microphones. I get a big sound here at Freedom Family, and we do it the best way we know how. We do it together. We rise up together, and we help each other. So I, I feel if more people did that in their personal lives with their people they care about, like their friends and their family, and the ones that they say they got their back, talk gets cheaper by the minute. Show them that you have their back. The only way to do that is to actually have their back. And that's what I do. Everyone on Freedom Family knows that. Everyone working with me needs to understand that. We are definitely Freedom Family Studios. So I'm going to get out of here and go jam with the Grudge Finger guys and check out our, we're going to be tracking and uh, working on our video setup. So it's going to be a bunch of day of knobs and wires. And I've got about 16 microphones to set up. I got to get the DI out. And this is all streaming into video, so it's not like recording a band. What sounds good on tape and what sounds good on video are two different planets. Just like what sounds good live, what sounds good on video, and what sounds good on tape, those are three different planets. You just got to, I'm learning the difference between the three and making them all work. So today is basically kind of a dress rehearsal at, the, at Club Grudge on gear mainly. And uh, we're just going to, we might even go live streaming. So check out the Freedom Family Studios YouTube page. We'll probably do some stuff. I'll probably uh, post some live shots on the Freedom Family Facebook page. But anyway, stay with Freedom Family. Let's make some music. Mm -hmm.